Hi all, welcome to Symbol Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Dr. Neetu P.S. Today we are going to discuss about the voltage regulator. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. Voltage regulator. So what is a voltage regulator? A voltage regulator provides a constant DC output voltage that is independent of the AC line, voltage variations, load current and the temperature. So the input to a voltage regulator that comes from the filtered output of a rectifier that is derived from an AC voltage source. So in, in the previous uh, videos we have seen about the rectifiers and all. So once we are aware and uh, aware with the uh, rectifier, it will be easy to consider the voltage regulator. So voltage regulator, this is the circuit in that you have a series resistance RS, a diode is there, Cena diode and a load resistance RL. So to the input that is an unregulated input which is denoted as V in and because of this Cena voltage regulator we will be getting a regulated output which is Vz. So Rs limits that is the source resistance which limits the Cena current to a safe limit. The source current is divided as Is and Il where Is is the current through the Zener -er and Il is the current through the load resistance Rl. So it is usual to allow uh, about 2 to 5 milliamps to ensure the Cena diode context and the output voltage is equal to the Cena breakdown voltage. So the ratio of the series resistance to the load resistance is significant as the input voltage is voltage divided by them and it is made available as a Cena voltage. So Vz is equal V in that is our input voltage which is an unregulated voltage into RL by RL plus RS that is your load resistance and the series resistance. So V in is the unregulated input voltage. The maximum value of RS, the source resistance can be calculated by using the formula RS maximum is equal to RL into V in by Vz minus 1. So the power dissipated in the Zener diode will be given as power is equal to current into voltage. So current is Iz that is the Zener current and Vz is the Zener voltage. So the minimum value for Rs is determined from the offload condition which is Rs minimum is equal to V in Vz minus Vz square by Pz maximum where Pz maximum means our maximum rated power dissipation for the Zena diode. So the output resistance and the regulation. So the internal resistance that appears at the output of the supply and defined as the change in output voltage to the change in the output current. So R out is defined as change in output voltage by change in output current. So uh, it is denoted as del V out by del I out. And the regulation is given as change in output voltage by change in input voltage into 100 percentage gives the regulation over there. Next we will see a problem. Uh, related to this Zener diode where a 5 volt Zener diode has a maximum rated power dissipation of 500 milliwatt and if the diode is to be used in a simple regulator circuit to supply a regulated 5 volt to a load having a resistance of 400 ohms. Determine a suitable value of series resistor for the operation in conjunction with a supply of 9 volt. So this is the circuit. Uh, as we have seen same as our Cena voltage regulator. So we have to determine the maximum value for the series resistance Rs. So Rs equation is Rs maximum is equal to Rl your load resistance into the input voltage that is unregulated input by the Zener voltage minus 1. So Rs maximum equal to load resistance is given as 400 ohm into V in that is our unregulated input voltage which is 9 volt 
and zener voltage is given as the regulated one 5 volt so minus 1 which will be equal to 320 ohm so we have got our series resistance as 3 uh, 320 ohm now we have to determine the minimum value for the resistance so what we have determined is the maximum value now we have to determine the minimum value for that the equation is rs minimum is equal to v in vz minus vz square by vz maximum so for that v in is 9 vz is 5 and pz we have to find out so that is iz into vz so which is equal to 0 0.5 uh, because the power dissipation is given as 500 milliwatt so which is in what you have to take that is 0.5 so we have to substitute the value so we will be getting uh, the minimum series resistance as 40 ohm so a suitable value of rs would be like it will be minimum it can be 40 ohm and maximum it can be 320 ohm so you can take the value in middle of that that is uh, maybe 100 to 150 ohms Next is voltage multiplier. Uh, so it is a voltage doubler uh, by adding a second diode and a capacitor to the output of a half wave rectifier, the output will be increased. So this you have seen that it is a half wave rectifier. So you are adding a second diode and a capacitor, same like this, to the uh, in the output of the half wave rectifier that will be increased over here so c1 will charge to the positive peak of the secondary and c2 will charge to the negative peak of the secondary voltage so since the output is taken from c1 and c2 that is connected in series the resulting output voltage will be twice that produced by one diode l so this is a voltage doubler it will double that next is uh, the operation of a voltage uh, doubler so here you can see that two diodes are used d1 and d2 and two capacitors c1 and c2 and the load resistance is rl you have a transformer over here and this is your input source so in the first positive half v in uh, you are applying that will be you will be getting in the uh, secondary of your transformer so your diode d1 will be forward biased so current will pa pass through that and diode d2 will be reversed biased so that will be open circuited so the path of the uh, flow will be from the secondary transformer to it will pass through the diode d1 as it is forward biased then it will pass through the capacitor then it will come to the negative of your secondary winding so this will be in the positive half cycle next in the negative half cycle you will you have the negative uh, cycle over here at that time your diode d1 is reverse bias so it will be open circuited and your diode d2 will be forward biased so it will contact so the flow path will be as shown that in the uh, figure you can see that from the uh, secondary uh, this will be negative and this will be positive so from positive it will pass through this through the capacitor c2 and through the diode uh, d2 as it is forward biased and it will reach in the uh, negative of your transformer secondary winding so this is the operation of your voltage uh, doubler so you will be getting uh, twice of your voltage uh, that is what it is 2 vp so in the first positive half cycle you will be getting uh, a peak voltage vp and in the uh, negative half cycle you will be getting a peak voltage vp so your uh, output will be 2 vp that is what it is shown in the figure next is a voltage tripler here you can see that in the circuit c1 that is a capacitor over here charges to positive peak secondary voltage while c2 and c3 charges to twice the peak positive peak secondary voltage so the result is that output voltage is the sum of the voltages across c1 and c3 which is three times the voltage that would be produced by a single diode 
and the ladder arrangement can be easily extended to provide even higher voltage but the efficiency of the circuit becomes increasingly impaired and high order voltage multipliers of this type are only suitable for providing relatively small current so this is about uh, voltage tripler so we have seen uh, voltage regulator voltage doubler which this voltage doubler and voltage tripler comes under voltage multipliers so hope this is clear for everyone if you find this useful please share it with others thank you